Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of Selenium WebDriver, I'm going to practically demonstrate how to handle info bar. So let's get started. So first of all, what exactly is this info bar and how it will be displayed for us during Selenium automation? I'm going to show you that practically before handling it, okay? So I'll switch to this PyCharm ID. Here I'll write some sample Selenium code, okay? Selenium Python code. How? I'll just write web driver here and uh, over the mouse on this web driver and import this from Selenium library. After that, so I'll take one of the browser that is Chrome browser over circular brackets and this Chrome is going to return you the driver. And now using this uh, object reference driver, I'll maximize the browser window and uh, I'll open the application URL using the get command. Here I'll provide an application URL. Let's say I'll go to this uh, application that is tutorialsninja.com slash demo application. I'll copy this URL and paste it here. After this, after opening this application URL, I want to get this title. So I want to get the title driver dot title okay i'll print it out print the title out here okay whatever the title of the page is there that that will be retrieved here and printed and here i'll quit the browser very simple automation test case okay the purpose here is to show you how an info bar will be displayed on the browser when we run the scripts using selenium okay so here just for the sake right uh, i'll just give time dot just for demo purpose i'll give time dot sleep here so that you can see the info bar I'll just give five seconds of time before the browser quits. This is a very simple automation script. Let me run this script. The only purpose I'm running this automation script is to show you how an info bar will look like. You see, the Chrome is being controlled. You see, the Chrome is being controlled by automation test of this is what is the info bar, guys. Okay. If you open the normal browser in your machine, you will not get that info bar. Okay. For example, if I do the same thing, if I open this up, I'm not getting that, right? Chrome is being controlled by, it's not coming. But I, when I run this automation script, I'm getting that. You see, when I run this automation script, you see, it's coming in this info bar is coming. Chrome is being controlled by automation test software. I don't want this uh, info bar to come. When I'm running the automation script, I don't want that info bar to be displayed. How to do that? For that, we have to use options, okay? Just create an object for this options like this for the mouse on this options and import this options from these options chrome options right i'm using chrome browser so i have to import the chrome options import this and here you see um selenium dot web driver dot chrome options is there this is edge option this is firefox option ie option every browser has an options here but since i'm using the chrome browser i'll be using selenium dot web driver dot chrome dot options dot options select that once it is imported, you see there it is gone. Now I'll I'll create an object reference. Let's say I'll just name this as uh, Chrome Options is equal to like this. Okay. Now using the Chrome Options, using the Chrome Options, I will add this arguments. Okay. There's some code here. You see, let me expand this for practical demonstration. No one can remember this kind of code. We have to copy paste only. But I'll try to explain. There are three. Three, uh, you say Chrome options dot add experimental option, add experimental option. Another one is add argument. Okay. Three statements I have to write. So first one is about adding an experimental option uh, with this uh, option known as exclude switches and enable automation. So when you do that, exclude switches and enable means you are excluding a switch to enable the automation that will uh, this, the three things what I'm trying to do will disable that info bar. Okay, on the browser while the scripts are running. The first thing I have to do is Chrome options dot add experimental option. Okay. So Chrome options dot add experimental option in double quotes, give this value that is exclude switches value. This one exclude switches, exclude switches, exclude switches and say comma and uh, here in the, you no. Know, Square brackets, you double quotes, enable automation. This is the first step you have to write. <laughs> then Chrome options dot another experimental option you have to add. The first experimental option to disable that info bar is 
exclude switches and enable automation thing. Now, so second one is use automation extension. Okay. And I need to set it to false. Use automation extension. I need to set that to false. Double quotes. And I need to set that to false. You see, F A L S. Like this, I have to set the boolean value. False. F A L S. -E. After that is set to false. The third thing is here add argument I have to take. Okay. Till now, add experimental option I have taken, right? Add argument and I have to pass this argument. So options dot add argument and give this argument that is in uh, uh, this part. Copy this and paste it here. Okay, double quotes are single quotes, you can give no problem. So that's it. Uh, we have to set these Chrome options and for this Chrome options to be applied, you have to copy this Chrome options and here mention options is equal to and have to pass this Chrome options for which we have added the experimental options and add, add argument. Otherwise, this will not be applied to the browser. Okay, if you don't pass this Chrome options object reference to this Chrome like this, it's not going to work out. Okay, so make sure that you are after setting all these experimental options and add argument, right? That Chrome options object reference you have to pass to the options attribute of this Chrome and of Chrome constructor. Okay, run this. This time when the browser is launched, observe that that info bar will not come. You see, info bar is not coming. We were able to successfully handle that, disable that info bar from coming. This is what is the thing all about. This is how we have to handle the info bar. Okay, using Selenium Python automation script, we were able to handle the info bar. This is what is the process. So hope guys, you understood how to disable the info bar when the scripts are running using Selenium Python on the browser, okay? So, we have to disable the info, info bar on the browser when the scripts are running using Selenium Python. This is the thing we have to do. These three steps we have to add. Add experimental option, add experimental option, add argument. Three things. If you do that, the info bar on the browser will get disabled. So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye-bye.